To really understand the impact of a painting or the influence that the world has on it, we have to look into the era that it's created in. You know, it's a good piece when it naturally encapsulates this and an entire movement even. In more recent years, I've been studying the concepts of existentialism, the belief that we are responsible for creating purpose and meaning in our own lives, and nihilism, the complete rejection of all principles and the belief that life is meaningless and that we might as well indulge in whatever we desire. When I think of the word nihilism, I naturally think of the scream, a painting by Edvard Munch that depicts the existential angst of the civilized man. The scream is dominated by feelings of anxiety and alienation, and this is often associated with the modern lifestyle. With my piece, I wanted to counteract this life approach that leads us down a very slippery slope of suffering in vain. For in my belief system, having purpose and experiencing suffering is all part of the human experience. And to live the life of a martyr is to not suffer in vain, but in the pursuit of happiness, which all around is a more positive impact and a new, more positive outlook on life. I took snippets from old masters' works to really enforce this belief. At Eternity's Gate and the Cafe Terrace at Night are both works by Vincent Van Gogh that I feel help counteract this argument for me. They are very... Vincent Van Gogh is a very existential artist. And I think that these help in my argument. The cafe and the very subtle reference to Jesus and the 12 disciples helps me push forward this narrative of living for somebody else and sacrificing for others to be a sacrificial lamb. Although you may not be religious or spiritual, it can be argued that having a moral compass and a foundation to live life on by the vital is vital to a complete existence. To live for someone else is much better than to live for yourself because we ourselves are always changing and our emotions tell us otherwise when our rational brains can't take over. We tend to lose our sense of morality and connection to the world. Pariah's return is about discovering self and healing, but also coming back to reality and coming back to the community. You see, we can't live without each other and to only intake self leaves us out of the whole experience of life, love, and happiness. But anyways, this is my take on the conversation between nihilism and existentialism. If you guys like this video, click the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. The whole purpose for my channel is to inspire others and to spread the influence of love and hope to others. So yeah, I'll see you guys next week with a brand new piece.